this is my story, Hunter. I doomed my kingdom. The demon invasion is my folly. The price of my pact with the dark powers. So strike me down. End the curse here and now. I am ready to pay for my sins. The sins of a scared, dying young girl. Your death will not annul the pact, Katerina. One evil never cancels another. We've all done things we regret. At least you had the courage to stand and face the consequences. So, what do you plan to do, Victor Vern? Boromir knew of your dark pact, your majesty. An ancient spirit is a confused being, but he might find some clarity at the place of his passing. We can learn more from him there. We do not know where the old Tsar perished, but we can point you in the right direction. The Volkovs were the keepers of the annals of Zagoravia since the city's founding. The whole family perished in the invasion, but hopefully the archive is still intact in their home in the High Quarter. Huntress Irene asked me if my storage space is limited. Well, why would I ever limit the number of items that she or you or anyone else decides to entrust to my care? <laughs> Stash away, sir. <laughs> Remember, my son, our hope shines brighter in our darkest hours. A hunter survives on skill above all, but good gear makes our job easier. Frankly, your current equipment is mediocre at best. Take a look at some of my special weapons. I could be persuaded to part with them for the right price. Well, a hunter should stay a hunter, right? Yeah, do what she's supposed to do. I'm supposed to sell you all these gadgets and observe their effects in the name of science. Our fiery Irene is supposed to slay monsters and uh, probably die a horrible death. Why is she taking over my business? Now that's what I'd like to know. Have I told you how much I admire your hat, Victor? It goes well with your clothes. It is distinctive and flashy, yet not entirely ridiculous. If I were a tough and dandy person, I would have picked a hat exactly like yours. A man walks down the street with a hat like that. You know he's not afraid of anything. <laughs> Some circus freaks. Perhaps they want to be friends. Then again, perhaps they don't.
It is said that once a piece of information falls into the hands of the Volkovs, it forever remains theirs. All other bearers of said knowledge are rumored to wither and disappear. are vampires. That explains a lot. So much for the Vokov's clan, I guess. At least in Zagoravia. You do know they have footholds in quite a few cities, right? Perhaps one day you will meet again. It says here, King Boromir fell to a conspiracy of envious nobles and was poisoned. This happened in an old chapel that should be somewhere in the Onion Quarter, the poorest part of the city these days. This place is doomed, Victor. I know it. I've seen that same desperate, delusional hope in the past. Zagoravia is already a lost cause. Yet, there's still money to be made here. So here I am. It gets to you, doesn't it? Seeing so many hunters fallen in their fight against the darkness. We've lost too many members of the Order in Zagoravia. We must avenge them, you and I. Thank you for your donations, my son. Each piece of gold enters the church coffers and will be used to build new homes and a future for the suffering. Continue to fight the sinful temptation of possession and the heavens will bless you. I think one of your stored items was uh, <clears throat> misplaced recently, sir. Oh, never mind. That was uh, that was one of Irene's. <laughs> Thank you for all your effort and your kind words, Victor. You helped me realize my sins and gave me hope that I will find atonement one day. A queen must be strong. And you helped me be just that. It may be raining down there, Victor, but up here in heaven, the sun shines all over the place. Oh, don't worry, I'm not your god. I am what God wants to become. <laughs>
You seem fascinated by the macabre. It disturbs me to watch you like that, always so enthusiastic to enter a new cemetery or crypt. You'll get there, Victor. You'll get there. Life hovers like a star, twixt night and morn, on the horizon's verge. The ghostly Tsar found his death here, you know. I wonder what you'll find. <laughs> set ablaze with fires that give no heat. The forces of darkness have already worked their way into the sanctum. I wonder if the spirit of the Tsar is still uncorrupted, or am I rushing into the next sinister trap?
Mortal, I sense the taint. The demon powers, even in you, do not come any further. Don't I shall suffer you no more abominations. Your foul taint has tarnished my city for too long. I, Boromir, the first hunter, banish the shadows from this holy place. Be gone back into the well of worlds. too strong for my fading powers. You will have to trust the steel in your hand and your heart to deal with the rest. Thank you for this, Tainted Hunter. I am Tsar Boromir, the first hunter. I had sworn to fight the demons in our world. It was I who built Zagaravia and established the Hunter's Order to guard a secret that could destroy us all. I built this city to hide and seal the Well of Worlds, a gateway to countless worlds beyond ours, populated by demons and cosmic horrors beyond imagination and comprehension. For generations, my legacy has been passed down the royal lineage of Zagaravia. In time, my own kin forgot my words and the purpose given to them, and now... Now, one of my own blood has sealed a dark pact with the very forces I had sworn to fight. But who are you? I sense the demon taint within you. Flee and do not turn back, for the well of worlds will corrupt your thoughts and tempt your heart. I've been running away all my life. It's my time to stand and fight. Let me tell you my story. Once upon a time, there was a prosperous kingdom. Its citizens enjoyed a life of wealth, luxury, and knowledge. Until its greedy neighbors joined forces in a vile plot. Three armies surrounded the city and its fall was inevitable. The young prince, heir to the throne, was willing to do anything and everything to save the kingdom. In this most desperate hour, an old man whispered to him, Open yourself to powers beyond this world, for this world has forsaken you. Seal your fate, my prince. Those words burned the mind of the prince as fire. He took the power he was offered and fought like a demon, summoning lightning and fire from the sky. He turned the tide, and the invaders fled in fear. But great power always comes at a great price. The children starved, for the crops would not grow. His father died of an illness unseen. For the price of his power was the death and decay of everything around him. Even though he was the last of his bloodline, the prince left his kingdom. For if he stayed, his people would suffer and perish. Now he wanders the world alone, never staying in one place for long, lest his curse catches up with him. I understand how you became tainted, Hunter. 
Your past mistakes may be attributed to the foolishness of youth, but are you any wiser now? Can you face demons and keep your hunter's word? I'm far past amends and redemption, but my heart is true. What must be done to break a demon pact? There is a way. You must find the physical object that embodies the deal. Destroy it, and the contract is void. The trouble is, this pact lies in the demon world. Point me towards the gate to the demon world, Boromir. Tell me where to find the Well of Worlds. I will reveal the location of the well to you, Hunter, but not yet. If you aim to release Zagaravia from its curse in the demon world, then I suggest you make sure there is a city left when you return. There are several demons currently in Zagaravia of immense power. Each one of them has the potential to annihilate the city and all survivors. I beseech you to defeat these monstrosities first. Return victorious, and I will entrust you with the secret of the Well of Worlds. Didn't you like that chap better when he recited nonsensical poetry to you? Tad too arrogant for a thousand-year-old corpse, I would say. <laughs>